shot. And the unboxing, I think some, I think he lost by experience. He didn't have that experience. Yeah, and, and of course, he got carried away by a lot of showmanship. Oh yes, I think when so he was too. meant to sit in there and get the fight on. Yeah, just, uh, Anyways, that's done and done. Let's have ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and we move on to the next one. All right. And it's the fifth bout of the night. We're just about getting to the halfway mark.
clad in black and gold, fighting out of the red corner. He comes in, weighing 51 kilograms, with a career record of 12 fights, 11 wins, 1 loss, and 10 off waist wins coming by way of knockout. He is a former national super flyweight champion, a former West Africa Boxing Union flyweight champion, recently a former WPA for the Central Super Flyweight title challenger. Ladies and gentlemen, the man with an illustrious amateur career, fighting out of the red corner, beautiful, Apolade, the black gold, This bout is for six rounds of boxing. into the ring, two Trojans uh, slugging out in the fifth bout of the night. It is D-Lads uh, Boxing Promotions Night of Champions right here at the Moladi Okoya Thomas Hall of uh, Testing Balogun Stadium in Surulere, Lagos, the commercial nerve center of Nigeria. And we've got in the ring for this uh, very interesting uh, international super flyweight challenge. It's uh, Sharif Wolabi sporting the red trunks and uh, white trimmings are up against uh, the man who calls himself the black gold fittingly also sporting black trunks with trimmings of gold as well it's interesting uh, to let you know that uh, Sharif Olabi has got quite some experience and he calls himself the lecturer whether or not he's, he has the uh, necessary knowledge to lecture the black gold in the ring tonight we will find out <laughs> We're actually waiting to be lecture. So this man lectured the black gold who himself sounds like more of a lecturer on the ring. <laughs> it looks more like a lecturer. Yeah, absolutely. Black gold going for it straight away. But uh, both boxers testing themselves out with some uh, good combinations. It's always interesting when you see a boxer not ready. Um, the waist uh, protector, you know, uh, Black Gold is not spotting any of that. Uh, he's decided that he wants to fight free of all those. Uh, no, I think he has that on, but the trunk covers it. I, I can't really see it there. Yes, it must <laughs> be a very flat. It must, it must be a very flat one. Some yes. of them do, do actually fight without the protection. No, I don't think so. Nice combination there. Black Gold, this, that's what he's, he's known for. Very quick, you know, left to right combinations. And uh, Lecturer would have to do a lot. And, and I love the fact that Lecturer is also throwing those jacks as well, keeping his opponent busy. But it's the consistency. Can uh, the Lecturer keep it up? Can he keep it up? That's the good question. Because, oh, lovely combination there. He needs not to drop his guards. Lecturer is doing a whole lot of that, and he could be made to pay for that. As the black girl steps in, both fighters strengths and powerful combinations on each other. And then good clutches for Mr. Lecturer. <laughs> Lecturer tries to use a lot of body punches as well. But he needs to protect himself because black girl is just going points straight away. I think he needs to put his guards up at all times because he's making himself more and more vulnerable for the black girl to penetrate into his defense. There you have it. End of the first round. We've got five more to go, and it promises a lot of excitement. Will this go the distance? Well, uh, as I can see, uh, well, it might go the distance, but the Black Gold are so lost things in, in his armor that I've not seen him unleash yet. 
and um, as you can see in the replay, some of the highlights are from the first round there. And uh, yes, both boxes throwing punches, but then that goal connecting the two big ones there. Connecting very powerfully there. And he's putting those jabs in as well. You can see uh, the lecturer get, gets caught there, and you can see the way he stepped out of it, 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 it as quickly as possible. All of these punches are not looking like they are worrying Black Gold. So he needs to do a lot more. See Black Gold connecting again with another right hook there. Black Gold out. Right. Round two on the way. Sh Sharif, oh, he gets caught again with another lovely three jabs. And those are, the, those are what matters with the, with the judges. And he's gone for a clinch there. That's a good one. Wow. Powerful body shot. Taking the man lower and allowing Black Gold to connect with the right powerful shot on the head. Yeah, okay, that's the best way to, to make your opponent drop their guards. It's another one coming in. Nice uppercut again coming from Black Gold. And to be honest, Sharif Olabi needs to really step up his game. If he wants to survive, it is fine. He needs to step up his game. He seems to be a, a, a quite a resilient boxer. Um, you know, but you can't be the one taking all the time. You need to also be able to dish out. He needs to worry Black Gold. He did a great job in that first uh, first round, but he's, he's been doing a whole lot of. I I, I think he has a. He has a certain fighting style, which is actually to drop his guard so that he can throw a lot more punches. Whenever he has his guards up, it really hinders him from throwing the punches. And you can see that now that he has his guards up, he's not throwing as many. Oh, that's another massive one there, but it just looked like Black Gold is um, taking still, his time. still taking his time, yeah. toying with his opponents. Because there were times when he, I, w I was expecting an explosive, you know, serious, uh, ferocious combinations, but... That goal would throw like three or four. Take his time again. And it does look like he's beating his time. 